Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. All I can say is, Hamilton, wow, you guys rock. What a fantastic week here. We have, had, we have revitalized the RBC Canadian Open. We have brought it back to major status. And it's all because of all you people out there right now. Congratulations. I want to congratulate you for coming to the concert series, for going to the rink and pounding on the boards. I want to congratulate you for buying 50-50 tickets, which help the Canadian Golf Foundation, which is the official charity of the RBC Canadian Open. We're going to help develop some new young golfers through that. So congratulations once again to everybody here. And now let me introduce the president of Golf Canada, Charlie Boileau. Thank you, Bob. On behalf of Golf Canada, I wish to thank you, the Canadian golf fan, for your great support during the, Canadian, the RBC Canadian Open this week. Merci à tous les fans de Golf du Canada pour votre soutien cette semaine durant l'Omnium Canadien RBC. Thanks to the government of Canada the province of Ontario, and to all our value tournament partners who made this possible. Thanks to Edmonton Golf and Country Club members for hosting us this week. And congratulations to Superintendent Rod Trainer for the outstanding course conditions. I wish to acknowledge the dedicated work of the tournament chair, Scott Shannon, and all 1,800 volunteers during this entire, entire week. A special thank to RBC leaders for your commitment to this tournament and the growth of golf in Canada. Finally, congratulations and thanks to all the players for your tremendous performances while competing in Canada National Open. Thank you all. Merci à tous. Thank you, Charlie. This, <laughs> this was an amazing week for Canadian golfers in the RBC Canadian Open. We had some great performances by all of the players in here, both amateurs and professionals throughout the week. And at the end of the week, the top Canadian is Adam Hadwin. And in addition to winning the Rivermead Cup, he has also earned himself a spot by virtue of his finish today into the Open Championship. He'll be at Royal Port Rush in July. I'd now like to call up Golf Canada CEO Lawrence Applebaum to present the River Mead Cup to Adam. We had 26 Canadians teeing it up here at the RBC Canadian Open. And not only did Adam win the Rivermead Cup, he qualified, as Bob said, for the Open Championships with our partner at the RNA. Give a big hand for Adam Hadwin. He's going to Royal Port Rush. I'll keep it very brief. Um, I really want to thank RBC uh, for their continued partnership with this great championship. 
Uh, they do so much for golf in Canada, not just on the professional level, the amateur level as well. So thank you very much. I know Mary's right here. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> congratulations to Golf Canada. You guys ran a tremendous event. I think everybody loved it. I, the players raved about Hamilton. Thank you to the members, the course staff, everybody involved, and most importantly to the fans for coming out and showing off what Canada is all about. One of these days, we will bring home both of these trophies. <laughs> Promise you that. And one final congratulations to Rory McIlroy. He played an incredible round of golf today. So. Well, as Adam said, this wouldn't be possible without the help and the assistance and the partnership of RBC. And here's the president and CEO of RBC, Dave Mackay. Well, thank you, Bob. And on behalf of 84,000 employees around the world, I want to tell you how proud we are to be the sponsor of this incredible event. You know, we took a chance. We, you know, we worked with the PGA to move the tournament from July to June. They said, well, people come. Look at this. This is just absolutely incredible. Thank you. Thank you. You made it happen. You paid back all that work. We're incredibly excited to have this new date in a really competitive spot. The field we drew for the top six players in the world this year, with one of those top six being our champion, Dustin Johnson and Justin Thomas and Brooks Kepka filling out the roster. A very, very competitive tournament. So we're incredibly proud. The, uh, Hamilton and the Golf Canada, thank you for allowing us to have a concert here. We had 20,000 people here Friday night for a concert. Florida Georgia Line, we sold out in March, so I think we're going to keep that format. That's great. So we're very, very excited. I want to take this opportunity also to thank all the sponsors and volunteers, our fellow sponsors and volunteers, for bringing this to life. There's a lot of work goes into this tournament. For our team, all the work, Mary and your team, we put into this. It, it's really paid back. This was a spectacular event all week. And, and thank you, the fans, for really bringing this to life and cheering on the players and, and really making them feel at home and challenge them. Thank you very much for the way you participated all week. Thank you. So Rory, on Tuesday morning, Rory and I played a tiny bit of golf. He gave me a few pointers. And uh, he said, this is a major tournament. This is a, an open tournament. This is a tournament with 100 years plus of history. I really want to win this. And I, <laughs> and I said, I'd like nothing more than see on the 18th green, Sunday night around 6 o'clock, to give you the trophy. So on, it's my incredible pleasure to announce, to award the trophy for the 2019 Canadian Open to Roy McElroy. All right, Rory. As Dave said, earlier this week in one of the press conferences, you called this a very prestigious tournament. You looked at all the names that are on the base of that trophy right there, and you said you wanted to add your name to it. How does it feel to know that your name will be the next one engraved on this trophy? Feels pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as I said, it's, uh, it's a prestigious event, uh, over 100 years of history. Um, you know, and we want to win the, the most you know, coveted titles in the game. And I think the, the Canadian Open, I watched Tiger hit that bunker shot in Glen Abbey uh, all those years ago. And, uh, you know, I wanted to get my hands on this. It's, it's one of the coolest looking trophies as well. So uh, it'll look good in the trophy case. All right, well, let me, just, let me just read off a couple of things that you accomplished here this week in addition to winning this championship. You broke the record for the lowest score for 72 holes at the RBC Canadian Open. As you said, that's 110 years of history that you've just erased. You carded the lowest final round in the history of the RBC Canadian Open with a 61. And you are now the sixth player ever to win the Triple Crown of Open Championships, the Canadian, the US, and the Open Championships. So congratulations. 
And at the start of the day, there was kind of a tangled leaderboard, very close up there. Did you just decide, I'm going to go out and win this thing running away? Because, I mean, that was kind of a bit of an overkill out there. Yeah, sort of. Uh, you know, I played so well yesterday, played with a lot of freedom, um, you know, started off well, hit driver, mid birdie, uh, and I just wanted to put my foot down from the start, and uh, I was able to do that again today. Uh, I didn't envision that it would be like this. Uh, I never thought about having a chance to shoot 59, uh, especially on this golf course. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you know, I, 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 stuck, I stuck to my game plan, played aggressive, and uh, you know, this is, a, this is the result. So I, I couldn't be happier, couldn't be happier to do it in front of all of you. Uh, you've been so cool all week. I mean, I've had such a good reception here in Canada. Um, you know, I, I think I helped myself by cheering for the Raptors on Sunday night. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, I also want to say thank you to RBC, Golf Canada, uh, everyone involved with this tournament. I know that this is uh, the 150th year of RBC. Uh, they, they support golf tremendously in this country and, and internationally. And, uh, you know, I, I can't wait to, to come back next year. That was, <laughs> that was going to be my next question. You came here once to play a quick round of golf. You've come here for your first time. Do you like Canada now? As long as the Raptors get to the finals again, I'll be here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Rory McIlroy, everybody. Thank you. Raptors in five! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again so much for your coming to the RBC Canadian Open. This marks the close. But please, join us next year in 2020, June 8th to 14th at the St. George's Golf and Country Club in partnership with the Islington Golf Club for Rory's defense of the RBC Canadian Open. <laughs>